Hey friends, this is Roxy with Menus Custom Designs. How are y'all tonight? <clears throat> tonight I have a couple of orders that I wanted to do. <clears throat> if there's anything in particular y'all would like to see, please let me know. Um, my husband's helping me out to read comments. Anybody there? I'm starting to um, mix my epoxy. I see a couple of people are joining, but I don't see names. I have seen something pop up and then it didn't. Just a moment, Sam. Uh, Amy Mary Ada just joined. Hey, Amy, how are you tonight? What I'm doing right here is mixing my epoxy. I have an order for a unicorn cup for a kid's Easter basket. And I think I'm going to uh, use Olaf by TH, TF Designs, I'm sorry, on the top. And then I think I'm going to use Unicorn Poop by TF Designs on the bottom. It's like a little bit of a chunky. But in the Olaf, I'm going to mix it with a glow in the dark. Hey, Jennifer. Alicia Desmond. Just hey, Alicia. This is your cup, honey. <clears throat> I'm doing your little mix right here. I'm using like this Olaf color. It's a white color. I'm going to mix with um, the glow in the dark teal. And if it don't glow in the dark enough, we could add more to it on the top layer. I should have had this open before I started. Actually, that's quite a bit of glow powder in there. Can you confirm if it said hello? Cherie the Brian Skelly going. Hey Cherie, how are you? Hello, Jennifer. I'm just mixing up some glitter with some glow powder. I'm making like a little mix here. And then I think what I'm going to do is put a little bit of glow powder in just a base coat of the uh, epoxy. Because we know all these little ones, they love this glow stuff. been getting quite a few waters for the um the little 14 ounce glasses can you see where that was in that drawing is there any specificity or something like that um for kids easter baskets uh i think i got six orders so far so if y'all like to place y'all's orders 
now's the time to do it because orders are starting to come in and I don't want to have to refuse anybody. And y'all can go on Mimi's Custom Designs page. Troy's going to share my link. And um, we do have order forms up on the site. But if you do place an order, please leave your email and a phone number to where, if I don't understand your what you want too well, I could always text you when I go to start the cup, and we could kind of do it live to where y'all be able to see it and kind of correct me a little bit. But I'm doing I already <clears throat> sanded this cup, washed it with Dawn dishwashing liquid like I always do, and um, dried it real well. Then came back and spray painted it with a primer. Um, and then now what I'm doing, I added a little bit of glow powder to my base uh, coat on my epoxy. I'm putting a very thin layer of epoxy on this um this cut like I said if we want more glow once it's done on my other layers I could always add extra glow to it Dustin Keller joining hey Dustin Brooke Bazaar Brown says, hey. Hey, Brooke. Okay, I think I'm going to start with my Olaf with uh, this glow powder first, okay? I'm going to put that on the top. And this is going to have like a, um, the glow in the dark is going to be like a teal color. And guys, all this glitter that I'm putting on this cup, whatever's not sticking is going on a paper plate. It's falling on a paper plate because I do not like to waste my glitter. And this is going to be a unicorn cup. Says, I always wanted to know how she made them so pretty. All right, here you go, Dustin. And Tina Ortega Brusor just joined us. Hey, Tina. I think she's the one with three brook chips that I place a lot of orders with her, especially around Christmas time. I love that group. <clears throat> See how I just dumped my glitter back inside my cup? Okay, now what I'm going to do, Aisha, are you happy with this color? Well, I don't know how well you could see it. But you see how it, it's like a color shift. Depending on the light, you could get different colors from it. There's blues, purples, pinks. You like that one then? I'm going to put that one on the bottom. Kelly and Chase join. Says you work from everything. Hey, Kelly. You see how it's color shifting? You can see the different colors in it. 
it's going to be real pretty with that unicorn, especially the unicorn with the flowers on the head, because the flowers on the head is going to have like those different colors in it. Hey, Elsie. Kelly just put a, a like on your video. Thank you, Kelly. This color is pretty together. It really is. I love it. And like I said, uh, on my next coat of epoxy, I think I'm going to do the same thing and add some of that glow to my next layer of epoxy. It looks cloudy here, but it won't be cloudy on your cup. That way, I'll have the glow throughout. We don't want to put too much of the teal glow here. We want it to glow more here because you don't want to change that color of this pink too, too much. And what I do when it's a, a, a chunky glitter like this, I tap it down. I should be wearing gloves because I'm highly allergic to epoxy. <clears throat> but I guess that's what Benadryl's for, huh? <laughs> And I still feel like a little bit of tackiness. And when I do feel that tackiness, I go back and I add a little bit extra. Because I don't want it, any wet spots showing up. My husband's answering a little bit of my question for me, guys, because I'm concentrating a little bit. <clears throat> and I tell you what, this color is beautiful together. I'm highly impressed. I tell my husband, I said, well, I want one like that, but I can't have every, every one I make. And guys, this is the start of the cup. This cup will take me about four days to make. Hey, Kirby. <clears throat> hey, Darlene. Okay, this is only the first process of this cup, okay? And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this spin. Until tomorrow morning, I'll probably put a layer of uh, epoxy on before I leave for work. I'll come back. I'll see if it needs any sanding or anything like that. If it does, I'll sand it a little bit. <clears throat> Wash it. Re-epoxy it. Let it spin for another 24 hours. And then, after that's cured, I'm going to take a... Um, this one will have a water slide and a, um, a vinyl decal because she wants her name on it. I'm going to uh, put the decals on and then I'm going to epoxy it again and put it on my turner for another 24 hours. But what do you think about the colors, Aisha? Alicia. Alicia, I'm sorry. I always, and when I talk to her on the phone, I always call her that and she corrects me. <laughs> uh, Rebecca Gordon Jones. Colleen says, I'm here. Hi, Colleen. 
did she answer me, baby? Just put a bit of me in the picture. Uh, I have seen it somewhere. But that's the start of your cup. I'm going to save my glitter right here. I'm going to let this spin a minute. Like I said, I don't waste my glitter. It all goes back into shakers. Hello. Hey, how are you? I think I already put that. I don't want to. I don't want to mix my glow in the dark inside my shaker. So I'm just gonna keep this little container, and I'm gonna put in another container, and I'm gonna mark what it is. Cause like I said, I don't like waste. And I'm gonna switch out my cups. <clears throat> Um, my next cup, well, my next cup, I think I'm going to do a coffee cup, guys. What colors would y'all like to see on a coffee cup? What do y'all think would be pretty? Is going to be high. I might have to open it. Yeah, she's in her audience. Uh, looks great so far. Oh, this is the perfect size. Oh, good. My husband built me some new turners, guys. That way I could keep up with orders. What color would y'all like to see on this coffee cup? Any suggestions? I may have to just pick it out myself, huh? Uh, I mean, said blue. James is saying, do you have burgundy? I have burgundy. I have blue. Do I have burgundy? I have so many different colors, y'all. Sure. Then the new guy just joined. How about this? Would y'all like to see that on it? That's pretty cool, huh? That's pretty cool. You want to do the whole thing, Matt, or? Just a few seconds away, there's going to be coffee yeah. beans coming through. Um, They're just not seeing you um, showing the blue. What color should we put on top of it, Joy? Mm. 
throw it in the bowl. Yeah. Just absolutely nothing color. Yeah. What color on top? We could ombre it, make it two different colors. white do something like this brook is all very much a pink and yellow so pink and yellow we're gonna go with this blue being the blue was chosen so oh and saying yellow 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 and blue that would be pretty okay let's see see what yellows we have. I have that color sheet. That color sheet don't look too bad. Yeah, bright yellow. That's almost a gold look to it. But yeah, that's quite the gold. We also have um, the yellow rope back over here. Glitter on the gold. Uh, that no crying in uh Yeah. Just things like that. The bottom is says yellow, orange, gold. How about this yellow with that blue? Yellow, orange, gold would be pretty too. And that blue is pretty. I don't know if yellow would go good with this. That blue, like a bluish purple. Yeah. You know, pink would be pretty with this too. Hmm. 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 Now y'all making me think tonight. <laughs> You're the artist. How about this one? We're going to put it on that other cup I have. Oh, you said, yeah, that would be pretty. The yellow and the blue? Or the pink and the blue. You know? Yellow and blue or pink and blue. I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, Rebecca Bowen said, I like yellow and blue, but pink would be nice too. Okay. Well, well, instead of either. We'll do the yellow and blue then. If it doesn't look good, we'll just remake it. <laughs> they even have that pretty rainbow right here. Blue color and Alicia does a nice effect. This would be pretty too. It's a rainbow. It's a shimmery and in the cover color shift, it would change. Wouldn't that be pretty together? Yeah, I think it would look good. I think it would look better than the yellow and blue. Because the yellow and blue, the, the difference in it is too much. Or let's just go with yellow and blue. Why not? Yeah, because they're all custom yellow and yeah. blue. Yeah. I 
Okay, what I'm doing here, guys, is just putting a light layer of epoxy on this, uh, this coffee mug. And my epoxy's already getting thicker. And my ball wants to slide a little bit because it's so thick, that's why I'm holding it. And coffee cups are a little bit more tedious because you have to get around those handles. You have to make sure you catch every corner and crevice of it if you want to cover it really well. Hey, Jess. Hey, guys, y'all need to check out uh, my daughter-in-law's page. What's it called again? Blessed Mess, I think. Bless, bless Mess? Is that right, Jess? Yeah, that's the um, position. She still needs to accept support and keep the finger on both fingers from getting back on in. Oh, and she'll have to yeah. go back in. Um, I'll just find out if you get a link to this. Yeah, we're going to try and share your link on my page, Jess, to where, um, guys, she makes beautiful yard signs, uh, yard flags. She makes shirts. She makes hair bows for the kiddos. Um, Is it Blessed Mess Glamour Designs? I think so. Yeah, no, it's a nice approach, so she has the link. Um, go and visit her, uh, her little page. She, uh, like I said, she makes different things. She makes shirts. She makes little onesies for the kiddos. Um, she makes yard flags, hair bows. I do quite a bit of that, but I get so busy with my cups and stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to heat up uh, this epoxy because I don't want all these lines to show. I'm just kind of flattening it out. I don't want to heat it up too much. I just want to heat it up enough to where I could get all these lines out. Okay, and as y'all see, I'm going to switch my plate because I got a little bit of epoxy that fell on this plate. And I want to salvage my glitter. And I'm going to start. Normally I start with the dark first. Okay. But this time I'm going to start with the light. Because the dark is a bit of a chunky. Whoa. It's hard to get all those little crevices on the cup. 
But like I said, I'm not losing all this glitter. It is falling on a plate. And all us cup people that make these cups, we know this glitter is not cheap. We like to hang on to as much as we can. Oh, this glitter is a, a bit of a color shift, too. I bet it's going to bring out some of those blues. Like that yellow. Yeah, that yellow is from Glitter on the Golf. It's called No Crying in Softball. And y'all don't see that true, true color. But it does have like a color shift to it. it it's going to pick up some of the blues and greens and stuff, especially in the sunlight. <laughs> okay, guys, here goes this beautiful blue. Let's see how it's going to turn out. This just turned out as a pretty yellow. This is called Galaxy Burst by TF Designs, which I'm starting to really love this company because they have beautiful glitter and so many different colors and shapes. And, and if you can't find one, she's going to help you find it or she'll order it for you. It's the same as the glitter on the golf. Glitter on the golf, they're, they're amazing. She, um, okay, I'm going to tilt this so I can get the inside of that handle, guys. Can you put a link to glitter on the golf? Yeah, glitter on the golf is. And TF design. And TF design. Y'all were right. This yellow and blue together. Beautiful. It is beautiful. And what I'm doing here, I'm just trying to get uh, the bottom of my cup all glittered up, guys. Glitter is messy, but it is beautiful. But ask my husband. We have glitter everywhere in this house. Oh, yeah. I try and contain it to one room, but it tends to follow me. Sometimes I go to work and it's like every once in a while I'll, I'll kind of look down and I'll look a certain way and it's like I see a speck of glitter and it's like there's one underneath my eye or whatever. Because in the morning when I wake up, after I get ready for work, I'll come in my room and I epoxy my glasses. It's like. Like tomorrow morning, I'm going to get up all these glasses right here that we're doing tonight. They're going to get a layer of epoxy in the morning before I go to work. And I try and get all the glitter off of me before I leave, but it never works out like that. I even have glitter in my car. I'm sure my husband has glitter at his office, too. <laughs> That's what, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it follows him to work. Any more glass is looking good. Oh, thank you, Jim. 
I tell you what, this yellow and blue, it's pretty. It is. <laughs> it is pretty together. Mimi was wrong, but customers were right. Yep, Mimi was wrong, customers were right. Yep. Uh, I was kind of second guessing it, but you know what? It is pretty. Okay, like I said, guys, when it comes down to chunky glitter, you got to tap that booger down. Because if you don't, you're going to have a whole lot of sanding to do. Christopher Brown said very pretty. And I hate to sand. Thank you, Brooke. It actually ombre pretty good, too. I don't have that, that partial on. And if you're in Sergeant, gave you like the, the OK sign and the Becky LaFleur sign. Hey, Becky, how are you? You see how I'm just tapping it down? All those little pieces that are sticking up. I'm trying to tap them down because, like I said, I don't like to sand. And the more you sand, the more you risk sanding off your glitter. Because I'm kind of heavy-handed when it comes to sanding. Oh, hey, Becky. I hadn't recognized you. I'm sorry. Troy's helping me out with my video, and he's there, hey. <laughs> it's like, okay, I hadn't realized it. Okay, guys, this cup is going to be a homeless cup. So it needs a home. So if you're interested, you can PM the page. This cup will go for 35 You can add a decal to it. Rebecca says we love it. Or your name. Or a saying. Um, but no extra charge. Look how that cup shimmers, guys. Um, I do have cups already made at Champagne's Quality Foods in Ville Platte. <clears throat> if you'd like to see my work in person, come by the store. I, like I said, I have a few cups made. Um, you could come see it in person. Anything you see on the counters over there, I can't add your name or a saying to any cup. Um, if you have a certain design you would like, I could help you with, uh, with that as well. Um, if you're not sure what you're looking for, come meet me. We'll come up with something together. Um, on my website, I have a photo gallery, which Troy should be updating that probably tomorrow, some, tomorrow sometime this week. Yeah. Uh, Paula vacation for doing me, Paula. Hey, Paula. Um, but Troy should be updating that too. Um, I've been playing with glow powders, guys. These little cups that I've been doing for the kids' Easter baskets. They actually glow in the dark. I have uh, a couple of them at the store that are kind of like a 
uh, under water um, design. Those also glow in the dark. I have a couple of galaxies that glow in the dark. So if you're interested, come by the store and look at them. Or you could go on my website. Most of them are posted. Um, I don't think the glow in the darks are posted yet, but we'll get to that sometime this week, probably tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, Mardi Gras coming up, okay? <clears throat> I'll also do the Mardi Gras glasses. Of course, I put my Mimi's Custom Designs logo on it. If you're interested in these, you need to contact me as soon as possible because <clears throat> they take a while to do, and I think Mardi Gras next week. Could be too. Um, I could only take so many orders like that because I have so many turners. So if you'd like one like that, please uh, get in touch with me. Here's another homeless cup. It's a Cinderella cup. It's 24 ounces. Comes with a lid and a straw. And these glasses will hold your ice for 24 hours, possibly 48 hours, depending on the weather. Okay? This one goes for $50. If you're interested, please PM the page. Let's see. I also have, I'm still selling Saints glasses. Okay. Names can be added to these. This goes for 45. Anybody monster drinkers out there? This is a 30 ounce cup with a lid reduced to $45. It does hold your ice just like the other ones. They're double wall uh, steel glasses, okay? Stainless steel glasses. I also have this one. It says, too blessed to be stressed, living life to the fullest. A name can be added to the back of it. And this is a, also a $45 cup. It comes with a lid and straw. <coughs> okay, guys. Um. I have another cup to do. Um, y'all want to hang around and see another one? I'll let y'all choose the colors again. Y'all did a great job with this one. <laughs> what other colors would y'all like to see? Or should I do the baby bottle? Let's do the baby bottle next. Look what I got, guys. I'm starting to do baby bottles. I think this one, we're just going to probably put like a... Um, Just like a little white shimmery uh, rainbow look in one to where it can girl, uh, be for a girl or a boy. This is also going to be a homeless one because it's my first one that I have, I'm trying out. These will be 
I think I said 35 huh, on the baby bottles. I'm not sure what you said. They're stainless steel. Names can be added to these. Um, I'll also do the sippy cups, guys. The little sippy cups. I'm starting to play with these a little bit, too. Um, Easter's coming around, and we never know what to put in these little tiny kids' Easter baskets. We don't want to give them a lot of chocolate. Of course, we have to give them the chocolate rabbits, you know. But, um... Here's some ideas for you. Like I said, the little 14 ounce cups, I've been getting quite a bit of orders for Easter baskets for those cups. They do glow in the dark. We can't put any decal on it. Ooh, this is getting hot. Bad hot. I think I'm going to have to mix some more epoxy, guys. It, it got too hot on me. And when epoxy gets too hot, you can't spread it. It's like you need to throw it in the basket. And I hate doing that. Normally, before I, uh, it gets too hot, I normally throw it in uh, some molds or anything like that. Um, I do, do these little butterfly molds. I do the unicorn molds. Those glow in the dark. Um, of course, I do the puzzle piece molds. Um, um, the autism awareness uh, puzzle piece uh, molds. I do those, which everybody knows that's very close to our hearts over here. Okay, guys, epoxy, when you're mixing epoxy, it's half and half. You need to be sure you measure it out precisely or it will not cure right, okay? <clears throat> See, these are the puzzle piece molds that I do, and I make magnets out of them. For ice boxes and <clears throat> keychains. So I put like some little um, real some little holes in it for me, and I make keychains out of them. I try not to waste my epoxy because epoxy is not cheap. Um, so of course I try not to waste any. And I'm out of stirrer, so I'm using the back of one of my paint brushes. Because I keep forgetting to go and get some. I need to set a reminder of on my phone. But, yeah, age is getting to me. <laughs> <laughs> I even forget to set reminders on my phone. So, you know, it's pretty bad. What you guys had for supper tonight? Felicia says, can I see the cup we are making for me? I missed it. Okay, sure. Let me catch it. It's still wet, so I'm going to have to bring the whole turner over here, okay? Subway, what is yours? Uh, what everybody had for oh, supper. supper. My husband was good enough to make us pancakes and bacon. Yes, we had breakfast foods. 
Guys, I'm going to turn off this light a minute, and I'm going to see if I could make this cup glow for her. Jess said they had meatball soup, muddled potatoes, and corn casserole. Oh, Jess, I should have went to your house for supper. I was just thinking that. <laughs> you see the glow already in it? And we have lights in here, okay? You can see that teal glowing behind it. You see it? Ooh. And like I said, we have lights on. Can I turn this one off, babe? Yeah, just in case you want to shut that one. It shows so well on our end, you know, but. Man, it's really glowing, yeah. It's got a pretty, pretty glow to it. Thank you. Well, on the blog, that's the page. Yeah, you can see glowing. It shows him. Alicia says, I love the color. All right. Let me put it back on this one, okay? Man, that thing glows, huh? You don't want to see more of that glow powder, baby. In all the colors. Alicia, yeah, he said yes. Alicia likes the color and the glows. Yeah. All right, let me turn on these lights back, okay? Aunt Becky says, beautiful cup, Austin. You do great work. Thank you, Aunt Becky. I appreciate it. I could put anything on cups, guys. Any kind of design you come up with. If you see a design. You just put something that sounds somebody else and then you give it away. If you see a design that you like on any website, I can do the uh, design, but I will mimic it a bit because I do not like taking anybody else's designs. I will make it my own. Yeah, it's just a beautiful. It will come out a little bit different from what you've seen. On the website. Because I try and, uh, like I said, I don't like anybody taking my designs and I don't want to take theirs. I have been doing some of these crawfish cups that y'all have been seeing. I try and make them my own, but some people really want them just like that. And I will tell them, this is not my design. I make the cup, but it is not mine. I did not create this design. Somebody else came up with it, and I just made it. And like I said, right now, we're going to do a little baby bottle. Names can be put on these cups. I mean, on any cup, including coffee cups, um, beer koozies, water bottles. As long as I can make it spin on my turners, guys, that's all we need it to do. And I'm just going to put like a little white rainbow glitter on this one. This one is called Over the Rainbow by Feather Bear Bling. Her glitter is amazing, but it's so hard to get because every time she opens up her website, it sells out within minutes. I have to set a timer on my phone she to get amazing. hers. Okay. Her glitter is amazing. Feather Bear Bling. Feather Bear Bling. And then it says about the show she's on. Hey, Sheila, how are you tonight? And 
each is it. I want my own Tumblr, but looking for a design, something different. What are you into, honey? What do you like? Do you like music? Do you like certain TV shows? Um, Yeah, we could do like music notes and put um like she looks like she's doing good. Little uh verses of the music on it. Um Guys, this is so pretty. And the reason I'm tapping it like this, I want to get all that loose glitter off of it. Hey, Marsha Martinez joining us. Hey, Marsha. We miss y'all guys. We can't wait to see y'all again. So, Troy, we needed to plan another trip out there. Kelsey's planning things for the launch of your video. Thank you, Kelsey. Guys, this glitter right here has blues in it. It's got pinks. It's got greens. It, Y'all just, y'all can't see. See it? I wish y'all could see the color of this. It's like, it's super pretty. Alicia said, I want scripture on it. A scripture? Does she know about your white cup? Uh, actually, my white cup's over here. I didn't leave it at work this time. Maybe you could go get it so we could kind of show them. Alicia, I love doing the scripture cups, honey. I mean, I have... My personal cup is one with a scripture on it. Troy's going to go get it. I mean, I that's my personal cup. That's the first one I ever made. And, um, well, not the first one I ever made, but made myself. Because it's like every time I make one, it ends up selling. I end up not keeping it, but um, I love my cup. But that's gonna be the baby bottle, okay? Names could be put on it. Little footprints could be put on it. Um, baby hands, you know, anything you could come up with. Or if you want to do an announcement to grandparents or any kind of baby announcement or anything. Or I do have color shift to where it's white and in the sun it turns pink or in the sun it will turn blue. Great reveal uh, party thing. So think about that, okay? This is my personal cup. Okay, bless for those who have not seen and yet have believed. John 20, 29. And I put this extra on it because I loved it. Because I love footprints in the sand. So I put walking by faith. And like I said, this is my personal cup. It pretty much goes everywhere with me. <clears throat> Guys, I have another small cup to do. Um, I'm not sure what colors to put on it, but I'm thinking to go with a pretty 
it, it's I guess teal but I'd like to ombre it with something and an orange what other color would be pretty with this Or orange. Hmm. Is this just a variance? What other color, babe? How about a silver? Would y'all like to see that on a cut? I was just telling you, you should ever could do any kind of a design for gold stuff. Yeah, I mean, anything. We could do praying hands on it. We could do. Jess said do lavender. Lavender? Yeah. Jess, lavender, with a, what other colors, babe? Marcia said yellow. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Pretty yellow. Yellow, lavender, lavender. We know we have lavender. This is like oh amethyst. I don't know if this yeah, this light works, but it's almost too glowy. Okay. What other color? Yellow, lavender. This is do pink or silver with the lavender. Pink or silver with the lavender. Uh, soft pink. Soft pink. And sugar brown. Hey, Bonnie, how are you? Nicole Dukashan says do purple with a soft chunky pink or silver pink. See, we already did this unicorn pink. But that lavender and unicorn poof would be pretty. I have so many glitters, it's so hard to make my decisions. This one's almost clean, though. There is a slight difference in these. Do they have this one? Do they have this one? This one or this one? Red lid or blue lid? That would be pretty together, huh? That would be pretty. Yeah, I yeah. think so too. Or they even have this bubble one. Which that has some purple in it, some lavender in it. you think yeah. or it's too dark maybe we could change it let's go with this do for sure for hashtag going on okay that is pretty jenny gone she says hello hey jenny is this just a pretty colors do you must be killed with the fire sasha johnson for I don't know what is it, red lid or something? Red lid. Okay. Okay, that's what I was thinking too. Whichever one they come on the back. Nicole saying, I love that one better. Black kid, whatever. Black lid. <laughs> oh, the black lid? Yeah. 
Well, there's mix. Nicole already picked the Nicole and Jess picked the lavender and the other one picked this one. So we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> We're getting so many comments all at the same time. So fucking love them. Yes, me too. Y'all making it, y'all making me feel good with all this interaction. Y'all need to uh, please like and share my page. Please like and share my page. It's the only way I'm going to get out there and keep this up. <clears throat> Wow, that baby bottle. Look at that baby bottle glow over there. Oh, Ain't that a beautiful color? Oh, Guys, I wish y'all could just see this color. It's amazing. It's the first time I use it. And uh, it's one I will be <laughs> ordering more of. You should take a picture of that and put it in the Yeah, car. try and because I'm sure with the camera itself, it'll probably be prettier. Troy's going to try and take a picture with his phone and put it in the comments because, oh, it is beautiful. And when a man is impressed with glitter, you know it's pretty. <laughs> this is a little small cup for these little kids, okay, that think they're too big for a straw. And to it, they want to be like, like Felicity was this weekend, yeah. coming out of Mimi's glass was so much better than coming out of her own. So, um, she'd have a glass like mine. Speaking of, I do do the mommy and me sets, okay? Um, I can make you a big one with a straw, and I can make your little girl or your little boy one with a straw, and we could do the matching glasses, which last year, around the summertime, it was very, very popular for me, and then Christmas came along, and I had so many wood grains and so many different cups that are kind of laid back on the mommy and me sets. But if y'all would like a mommy and me set, please let me know. Or uh, a Mimi and grandbaby set, which that that's in the works for Mimi and Felicity. <laughs> We're going to have a matching set. Monique playing something on Johnny. Hey, Monique. I oh, we take a picture, but the glimmer's not showing. The glimmer's not showing even in the camera. I will have that baby bottle at the store. If y'all would like to see it in person, it's Champagne's Quality Foods in Bill Platt. I will take a picture of it later and upload it. And Troy will take a picture of it later and upload it to the site. Unknown caller. Nicole is asking how much of a dummy and Um, the, they're 14 ounce tumblers. They're 35. And the other ones are 45. But I sell the set for 75. And like I said, those were very popular last year, especially the um, the ones with the the sunflowers. Uh, sunflowers were like extremely popular. And okay, guys, when I'm doing a chunky, I always try, and it's an ombre. I always try and go with my fine glitter first. Okay, normally I do my dark glitter first. But when I'm umbraying with a chunky, I always do the fine glitter first, okay? And yes, like I said a while ago, 
I have a plate underneath to catch my glitter. And guys, all my glitter is polyester glitter. I do not use the cheap glitter. All my epoxy is a good UV epoxy, okay? So you could take these tumblers to the beach um, and it will not harm your cup. You could leave these tumblers in your car, which I've done, and inside my car, it's nothing but black leather, okay? Um, and in this Louisiana heat, we know how hot these cores get, okay? It has not messed up my cup. I have had this white cup for a year and a half, and it still looks brand new, okay? You could take them on the beach. It's not going to harm them. The only thing I will tell you is do not put them in the dishwasher, and it's not for the epoxy sake, okay? It is you don't want to break the seal on your double wall tumblers. Even anybody says Ozark Trail or Yetis or anything like that, do not put them in the dishwasher, even if it's not epoxy. It's not the epoxy I'm worried about, it's your tumbler I'm worried about, okay? Um, they do not go in the microwave, okay? It's not microwave safe. Maria Ross Stevenson. Hey, Maria. And like I said, I mean, people say not to soak them, okay? But I don't use Mod Podge on mine, okay? I start with epoxy. I still don't soak mine. But if you happen to, these kids, they have chocolate milk or whatever. You could put some water and soap in, in the glass. Just don't put it in a whole sink of water and soak it for hours, you know? I don't think it would harm it because I've done mine like that, but I'm just going by what all the other uh, cup makers say, not to to soak them. So I I kind of go along with their ad advice. <clears throat> this purple's pretty, guys. Which the purple is also by Feather Bear, and it's called Amethyst. And like I said, it's hard to get her glitter, but when you do get her glitter, it's amazing. It you will not be disappointed. Now you see, I'm gonna have a horse line because it's such a light colored glitter and a dark glitter. I'm going to mix it, and I'm going to try and fix that horse line, because that's one thing I don't like. The way I'm going to do that, which I learned this, this is not my own trick, okay? This is, I learned this from another uh, cup maker. You take a little cup, which I know I have some little cups right here. Let me catch another one, because all these are full of stuff. Take a little cup. And you mix both your colors together. Until you come up with a good mix that you like. I 
think that might be good. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of cover up my my thing like this because I don't want this spray to hit my computer, okay? I'm just spraying a little bit of adhesive uh, spray in the middle of this line right here. And I lost my little cup that I made. There it is. This is a tea strainer. I call it Hoot Hoot. It's my owl. Okay. I put my mitts in it. I close it. And I tap it. Just to get that ombre. Get rid of that line. And I might have did it too much. I should have closed it. It's a new method for me. I normally go back and forth with it myself. What y'all think, guys? And on this one, I may put like a little mermaid or something on it. What do y'all think? It looks kind of mermaidy. Like I said, when you work with a chunky, tap it down. And it's a little bit too moist for me on the bottom. So I'm going to hit it a little bit more with some glitter. Yes, mermaid. Mermaid. Chelsea yeah. also says yes. Jess says yes, mermaid. Chelsea says yes. Rebecca says, yes, definitely mermaid. Yeah, Rebecca says, so. very pretty. And Nicole says, yes to the little mermaid. They all love mermaids. Yeah, I, I'm thinking mermaid, too. It, it's like, it screams mermaid. Okay, guys, this is going to be another one that's going to be up for, uh, for grabs. This is a, um, a $35 cup, okay? If you want it to glow in the dark, it will be $40, okay? Because I have, I'd have to add some glow in the dark to it. And we can add a name to it, um... And this one doesn't, I don't think this one has a straw, but it does have an open and closed lid. But I'm sure we could put a straw with it. I could order some little straws. Rebecca says, I want this mermaid cup. How do I purchase? Who mm -hmm. wants it? Rebecca. Um, I'm going to send him the link. Troy's going to send you the link. Um, Rebecca, would you want a name on it and what color name you want on it? And you do want it mermaid. Well, she really wouldn't have to. Uh, on the order form, Rebecca, 
just could you would like to um you would like the pink and purple mermaid that was done in live that way i'll be able to distinguish what you want me lydia rose joined hey lydia okay guys um up next, and I know I've already done one before, but I do have an order for one. Uh, it's another Mardi Gras glass. Do y'all want to stay live with me for it, or y'all want me to hop off? It's up to y'all. Actually, I have two orders for it, but um, I only have one turn in. No, that other turn of works, huh, baby? Which one? That one on the end. The one that has nothing on it right now? Yeah. Yes, it does. That's what I just did. Troy's been making me new turners, y'all, because I've been having issues with my turners. <clears throat> and it's like I can't keep up on orders, so he, he's yeah. making extra. Do y'all want to see this, uh, this one or y'all going to stick around? Okay, well, we'll just stay on and do it then. I'm going to get this out of my tea strainer. And like I said, I do keep all my little mixes like this. I don't waste them. I put them in glitter shakers. Uh, Aunt Becca says, enjoy your video, but it has to go. Love you, Roxanne and Troy. Love you too, Aunt Becky. I put all my extra glitter in here. Once I have enough, I make a dump cup with it. Normally, it's like a wine glass. And guys, they come out amazing because you, you get a mix of every color and shape. <laughs> I'm just trying to kind of save some of my glitter up. So my, it doesn't spill over. Jenny said yes. It's just going to stay around. All right, Jenny. Kelsey Page just joined. Hey, Kelsey. See, like this glitter got mixed up with a little bit of purple. So I'm gonna throw it in my glitter shaker. So some of this will be in that dunk cup as well. See how I'm shining, y'all? By the time I'm finished my cups tonight, I'm gonna have glitter everywhere. All right, let's see what we could do. We're going to put, <laughs> what? I'll show you when you're done. Let's see, I need a good purple. Midnight Sky would be pretty, huh? As a purple for the, uh, 
to the purple on the um thing because I ran out of the how you call it vampire squid. I need to order some more vampire squid. And then I need a green. And I think I always use that Grinch green. I'm sorry, y'all. I have glitter everywhere. Okay. Green and anniversary gold. All right, y'all ready for this madness? Mardi Gras ball. Okay, here we go. Let me get a, another glove on this hand. Y'all, last night I woke up in the middle of the night. <clears throat> My hands were so irritated from, like I said, epoxy. When, oh, this one's getting hard on me, too. Maybe I could just heat it up and try and soften it up a little bit. Hey, Sean. Oh, it's hot in this room, y'all. We can turn off the heater for a little while, baby. And then we'll just turn it back on. Y'all, epoxy loves heat, okay? And for it to cure well, I run a heater in this room. And when I'm in here, it's like a sauna. You see, this epoxy, see how it's harder to rub? It's because it's starting to cure already. It ain't near cured enough, you know, because it's still tacky. You said good night. She's got to charge her phone. <laughs> Thank you again. Who's that? Uh, Alicia. Okay. You're welcome, baby. She's been one of my good customers here lately. She's ordered a few wine glasses from me and, um, she's ordering, um, Little cups to eat the baskets. And guys, I was supposed to go live last night, and I apologize for that. But my little boy came home with uh with homework, and um, y'all all know he's a little bit autistic, okay? And he was so frustrated. I was frustrated. And it's just, it wasn't a good night because we had to get this homework done. And sometimes it's just a battle. Okay, I think I'm going to, I'm going to sort this out. And guys, like I said, all my cups, they're stainless steel, double walled. They hold your eyes for 24 to 48 hours. And like I said, inside my car, it's all black leather, okay? My cup, if I forget it in my car when I'm getting down at work in the morning, and in the afternoon I come back inside my car, I still have ice in my cup with my drink, okay? Um, I'll have ice the next morning in my cup. 
Now, if I don't leave it in my car and I have ice in it and water in it, I'll take it down with me at work. I'll put warm water all day in my cup. Just keep refilling it using the same ice. That same cup comes on my bedside table at night. Put water in it. The next morning I wake up, all I do is add more water to it. And it will last me 20, 48 hours sometimes. Okay, so it depends on the temperature outside. But uh, these cups are very good. They will hold your... Uh, your drink very cold. God, I don't like this purple on here. It's just too dark. Too, too dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with a little bit more of this and then I'm going to come back with a light purple on top of it. I ran out of the, um, the purple I normally put on my Mardi Gras glasses. I have been selling so many Mardi Gras glasses. I don't know if I have enough to start with that one. Let's see what this one's going to look like. Yes, I have a lot of colors. Yeah, this is pretty. <laughs> I'm happy with it now. And last time I went to order from her, I was going to order some, but she's out of stock on that color. But this is a pretty one. Pretty purple from Mordecai. I like it a lot. Huh. Who knew? Huh. Stacy puts in yellow drawing. Hey, Stacy. I believe she runs that um, that homeless shelter. Oh, really? I think so. Okay, guys. And if this ombre doesn't come out good, like I said, I'm gonna. I always go back and forth with my uh, different colors just to make them blend together. And this is going to be a Mardi Gras cup. And I'm not good at talking French. How do you pronounce it, babe? Let's say the bon ton roulé. Let's say the bon ton roulé. <laughs> I got it, I think. Um, Almost. And y'all, I grew up in my mood. <laughs> I mean, this is really bad, huh? <laughs> but um, on the other side of it, it's going to say Mamou Mardi Gras. And it's going to have uh, the year on it. Kathy McClure said, that's pretty. Thank you, Kathy. I have done, I guess this is the seventh, eighth, seventh or eighth cup like this. Uh, I was laughing while Joseph was uh, just saying, we made it to the daytime. We're watching you on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah, Jess, I get quite a bit of orders like this. See, I'm mixing my colors right here, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to mix it up. Um, Dixie Brooks is tapering. I have a few orders I'll inbox you. You go ahead, Kitsy. Thank you, baby. Y'all, this is Kitsy. She has kickstarted my business. And let me tell you something. I appreciate you so much, girl. I really, you. really do. Somewhere. Thank you. We, we may have to click you on commission. Yeah. I think I had said I'd discount something for you, didn't I? She's been a blessing. She has been a blessing. And y'all, I didn't know her at all, and she has 
really blessed me. I, I mean, she, she's amazing. This is a big room, that's your page. You have a lot of page likes. Thank you, Elizabeth. Kitty says, oh, you're welcome anytime. I'm mixing my colors, y'all, but we're just going to call it a Mardi Gras blend. <laughs> you see how I'm going back and forth with my colors? I want to get that ombre. I don't like that hard line, which we're not going to see too much of any kind of lines because Mardi Gras is madness, ain't it? Um, I'm going to put some Mardi Gras, um, you see, when, when you get too thick with your epoxy, how it looks wet in some places, it's not going to e evenly coat underneath that epoxy. So you need to keep putting um, glitter on it, which, like I said, when you go too heavy-handed with uh, epoxy, you're wasting epoxy and glitter. But I didn't want to waste my epoxy, and my epoxy was getting too hard to spread. That's why I went too heavy-handed. I guess I should have just uh, put them in molds and made a fresh batch, but I took the lazy way out. Terrible. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, guys, okay, I think I like this because it did ombre pretty good. And like I said, we're not going to see too many harsh lines. Now, I have a computer right here. That's why I'm going to kind of cover up this to try and protect it from all this spray that I'm fixing to put on this cup. I'm putting spray like this over this cup. Let me show y'all why. Because I'm going to take my glitter on the golf. It's called Mardi Gras Ball. I'm going to take it and I'm going to throw some all over this cup. And please, y'all, y'all like and share and follow my page. If you follow my page, you will get alerts every time I go live or I put out new products. <clears throat> and it does help me. Okay. And yes, it's chunky glitter, so I will be tapping it down. And what I'm making is this. Okay. The back is going to have my move Mardi Gras, not Mimi's custom designs. <laughs> <laughs> we took these cups with us to New Orleans. Was it last weekend? Weekend before last? Weekend before last, I believe. And I have a couple of stores actually interested uh, in purchasing some. Uh, so y'all pray for me. I don't, I, I'm hoping that I can, uh, fill their orders, but just like I told them, my customers will come first. Okay. So, um, I'd really love to stay local. And. If y'all like and share my page, I might be able to stay local. Okay. And guys, I do ship, but my shipping, you have to pay shipping, okay? 
and um, you have to prepay when I ship. And I only do FedEx and UPS. And um, it will be at least, at the least, a two week time period because it does take me about four days for these cups to cure. And then after those four days, it has to sit before I could pack them at least two to three days. Okay, because anything I pack them in with the temperature change, Louisiana, it's one day we're hot, one day we're cold. It gets very humid. When you pack it up and put it in a box, the humidity in that box and the travel time, you're not going to get a nice cup, okay, once it gets to you. So, but yes, I do ship, okay. And you can find me at Champagne's Quality Foods in Gilclot. <clears throat> you can see my work in person. I do do glow in the darks. I started doing baby bottles. I started doing sippy cups. I will get into the beer uh, koozies. Well, it's really not koozies. It's the, the thermos that you put the beer in. I do coffee cups. <clears throat> I do wine glasses with my wine glasses over there. I think I uh, I showed it in another video. Um, I even do the um, the stemless wine glasses. I could put any design you want on them. Okay. Um, Kitty just shared your page so you can check her girl out. Thank you, Kitty. I appreciate it. But guys, anything y'all y'all need, I could help y'all with. Okay. Just please like and share my page. It really, really helps me. Okay? And heads up. Go to my daughter-in-law's page. I think my, my husband has put a post out there of her page. I'll put it again. He'll put it again. She makes uh, yard flags. She makes shirts. She makes onesies. She makes bows for the little girl's hair. Um, if you're looking for anything like that, I do it, but with my cup business taking off like it has, I can't keep up on both ends. And my daughter-in-law does wonderful, wonderful work, okay? Look her up, okay? I'd appreciate it. I got the Facebook link out there. And we do have her Facebook link out there, okay? And, um... Nicole, if you want, send me that link for the crawfish cook-off. We will be doing a cr uh, crawfish cook-off um, for Nicole and Jordan Duplachan's little girl. It's going to, all proceeds are going to go to the hospital, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Nicole will uh, put some kind of link up there and so I just go ahead and maybe allow her to put that my page is so secure my husband's it so uh Hello, nicole. uh nicole Duplish. Oh. she's gonna put a link out there guys come out and support them okay um we'll probably be out there also okay they're gonna have an auction they're gonna have a cook off uh i think they're gonna have some live bands out there Come out and support them. All right. I think that's going to be it for me tonight. Uh, if y'all like to see anything different, kind of post it on my page and my next live. Jessica Peregrine says, what you doing here with Ezra's Wings? Ezra's Wings. Okay. Um, I think it's going to be at Chauncey Pete Bourne. And I forgot the date. <clears throat> she said she's on the way home. So I'm going to add Nicole. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and add Nicole to it. And um, we'll have it out there, okay? So um, go out and support them, guys. All right? Um, I forgot what I was saying. 
you see I'm getting old. <laughs> um, like I said, please like, share, and follow my page. It really does help me, and it helps me to stay local. Chauncey Peak born April 13th. Chauncey Peak born April 13th. Hope to see y'all there, okay? Go out and support them. All right. Bye, y'all. Y'all have a good evening. Why don't you say bye, y'all?